All right, just got back from California. It's one degree outside. We're gonna do a cold start on the FJ that's been sitting for about a month. Door open. I finally got one. Um, I'm doing the install right now. I'm not really sure how to wire one of these since they didn't come with the ones in the States. Uh, so it should be a little bit of an interesting adventure doing that. But there is a video online that I saw all of it. So we're gonna try to use that. And you still need to figure out which wires I'm gonna tap into to get it in there. But uh, overall, this thing is one of the coolest things I've ever bought. So I'm really excited to see how it all goes in and I'm, I'm praying it works but uh got it for a good price let's make it happen you want a pet bird this little bird ran into my glass on my truck and just about committed suicide and osh consist insisted that i rescue it so we rescued it to this piece of wood and we're waiting for him to... Of course, you can just leave it. He's cold. You gonna take care of him? Yes. Okay. My new pet. Pet bird. He's cold. Yeah. I gotta get back to wiring. I'll let, I'll let Osh handle that. Pretty excited here, just got this thing all wired up. About to put her all back in together, get her all buttoned up, then take her off road for a little bit. So check it out. Uh, as soon as I get the everything back in place, I'll show you how it all works and uh, we'll do a little, little test drive on that. So cool. Today we're working on just polishing up the valve cover on the 2F engine. It's something that I've been putting off forever and ever. It's not super necessary, but at this point of the game, I just wanted to make it the whole engine bay look a little better. So I'm gonna slowly be working through that stuff and just making it a little cleaner. So I'll take you through the process of that. Currently, you just gotta lift the air cleaner off. It's a 12 bolt in the back, a 13 here, and a 13 on the side, and a 10 on the uh, carburetor there and then it just should come right off after you disconnect like two air lines. Um, other than that, you have four 14 uh, size bolts that hold the actual cover on with this coolant line that's only, those are tens and then it just kind of wiggles its way off like that. So kind of, it's kind of hard to do it with two hands, but I will get it off and I'll show you what we got up. guy right there, super dirty. Let's see if we can clean it up a little bit today. All right, we're under there. Take a look at my valve train. It's pretty good. I did go ahead and 
adjust the valves the other day uh, with my buddy Mike. We did both of our trucks, so everything is in spec. Definitely made it run a little quieter, and uh, I don't know if we got any more horsepower, but definitely makes it run a little smoother. So, so we didn't get around to filming it, and I didn't get around to obviously polishing the valve cover. So we'll go ahead and get that on the road now. All right, first we're gonna use some oven clean on this guy, heavy duty. I'm gonna spray her down and see if that will what that will do for us real quick. All right, let this thing sit for a little bit. We're gonna go ahead and hose it off and then scrub it down with some soapy water and see what we got right there. And then we're gonna go to town with a drill, try to scrub it up a little bit more after that. Now we're going to town, a little bit of soapy water on this guy. It's actually coming out pretty good. You can see that it's kind of clearing it up, making it a little bit shinier. But we got a couple more tricks up our sleeves. We're gonna make this thing look real good. All right, so that's after some soap and some oven cleaner. Polished up all right. Still a little dirty for my liking, so we're gonna go ahead and get a polishing wheel and kind of get that up to par and make it look a little better. We're going here, getting a little more polished and ready to go here. Using this special polisher here that my, my roommate uses for his 1940s uh, Airstream. So it's all aluminum, same con stuff, stuff that we use. We use this uh, metal polish here, right here. You dab it really slow on there and you give it a quick buff and it comes out super shiny. And there we have it. All nice and polished up and ready to go on. All right, well, here's the finished product of the 2F Toyota valve cover uh, after polishing. It took about two hours of polishing, and I mean, I think it turned out well, and it really sets the engine bay off. So uh, I'm gonna button a couple things up, screw everything back together, and then uh, we'll get a final shot.